Hello dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting further, I would like to say something. Please watch video completely. Sit with copy pane. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed further. Although you have facing any problem or difficulties, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you. Now here is the question. In the figure, masses M1, M2 and capital M are 20 kg, 5 kg and 50 kg respectively. The coefficient of friction between capital M and ground is 0. The coefficient of friction between M1 and uh, capital M and that between M2 and ground is 0 0.3. The pulleys and the string are massless. The string is perfectly horizontal between P1 and, and M1 and also P2 and M2. The string is perfectly vertical between P1 and P2. An external horizontal force capital F is applied to the mass capital M. Here take G equal to 10 meter per second square. And we have to ask in question, draw the free body diagram of mass capital M clearly showing all the forces. And uh, part 2, let the magnitude of force of friction between M1 and capital M be F1 and the force and the between M2 and the ground be F2. For a particular force, capital F is found that F1 equal to twice F2 and F1 and F2 write equations of motion of all the masses find F capital F tension in the string and acceleration of the masses. Now clearly, first of all we have to draw free body diagram for overall you can see that all the forces where and how to be applied. Here normal force acting downward direction. Remember normal force generally when stable surface the normal force is acting upward direction. But in the case here this big block is moving forward direction and so therefore here the normal force is acting downward direction. This is very important fact. Okay. Because this big block is moving forward direction. This is stable. So therefore normal force is acting downward direction. Here the tension is uh, applying between the pulley and the first block. And here the tension force, here the tension force is upward, here the uh, tension force goes towards to the M2. And here the frictionless surface and uh, here the normal force is acting upward direction and weight of this body acting downward direction. So description of the first block is complete. Now this is for the M2 block. You can see that M2 block here the body is moving towards to the right side means friction force is applying to the opposite direction. Here the weight of the body is acting downward direction and normal force acting upward direction. If this body is moving, suppose this body is moving, then that time normal force is acting upward direction and friction force is goes towards to this direction because this body is moving in left side. This is possible only when this block is moving, okay? And it is raised and it is moving, then normal force is in direction opposite direction. So therefore this is all this description of free body diagram. Now for the M2 block we can see that labeling N2 is acting upward direction, M2G is acting downward direction. Here M2 block moving towards to the right side so therefore friction is acting left side. Okay. As we know that from the laws of friction F2 upon N2 equal to mu. Here F2 equal to mu N2. And as we know that mu equal to N2 equal to M2G. So here M2G. What is uh, mu? Here mu is given 0 0.3. Weight of the body is given 5 kilogram and it is 10. So now F2 is equal to 15 Newton. 
Now similarly, for this M1, it is the surface. Here body is moving towards to the left side. So friction is acting this side F1 and normal force when it is moving the normal force is acting upward direction here M1 G is acting downward direction. So now for the uh, same things laws of friction F1 upon normal force N1 equal to mu then F1 equal to mu N1 and mu what is N1? N1 is M1G then F1 equal to mu is same friction coefficient 0 0.3 here the 20 is the weight of this block and 10 acceleration due to gravity. So here F1 equal to 60 Newton. So clearly F2 F1 is more than F2. So therefore it is in a static condition. Now we have given F1 equal to twice of F2. It means F1 equal to what is F2? F2 is 15, then 15 to the 30 Newton. In that case also, this M1 and M2 is in static condition. It means when M block is moving towards the forward direction, their acceleration is same. In that case, F1 minus T equal to M1A. When body is moving, then F1 minus T equal to M1A. And here, in this case, T minus F2 equal to also M2A because acceleration is same. Why same? Because here F1 is greater than F2. So now, solving this question first and second equation, then T will cancel out F1 minus F2 equal to M1 plus m2 into a. What is f1? f1 is 30. Here f2 is 15. And mass of f1 is 20 kilogram. And uh, mass of uh, m2 is 5 kilogram. And acceleration. This is 15 by 25 equal to a. 5 is a 15. 5 pipes are 25. Means 0 0.6 meter per second square. It is the acceleration. Okay. Now second things we have to uh, find out the tension. Tension means T minus F2 equal to M2A here F2. What is F2? F2 is 15 and it is 5 and uh, acceleration is 0 0.6 means 3 plus 15 then uh, tension is 18 Newton. So we get tension equal to 18 Newton. Now next part body is moving then we have to find out this force acting force this F capital F minus T because T is acting this direction this is force and this is tension force okay so now equal to capital M plus this small M kept over it M1 and uh, acceleration here F 18 we have already find out weight of this big block is 50 this is 20 and uh, 0.6 acceleration 70 into 0.6 F equal to 42 plus 18 then F equal to 60 Newton. So overall this force is 60 Newton. Now final answer capital F equal to 60 Newton, F1 equal to here 30 Newton, F2 equal to 15 Newton, tension equal to 18 Newton and acceleration is 0 0.6 meter per second square. So we have get all the answers. I hope so. You understood these situations. Thank you for dear students staying till the ends of this video. And I know that very well you are working very hard. And if I will be a part of your success journey, that it will be my pleasure.
but when more and more students will join with your success journey then it will be very great things thank you once again take care